So this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing off a plugin that I made for taking screenshots in Unity. Um, so right now I'm just in this old scene for the pickup environment stuff that I did a while back. Um, and I'm going to import a package that I've been working on. So uh, here we go. Screenshotter, just the most recent one I've made here. And it's just a single script, uh, just a C sharp script uh, for editor stuff. And we'll let it import here. All right. So if we go up to tools, we go to Valgen and screenshotter. And we have this little box right here, right here. So I'm just going to stick it right here. And we can use it from there. So what this does is it allows us to save the camera view. So if we find our main camera, uh, it allows us to save the view that this actively sees into a PNG file. So if I go over here, uh, get a different view of it, uh, control shift F to bring it to that view. Uh, you'll see here it automatically selected the scene camera. We can create a different camera if we'd like right here. Uh, we'll just put that here or we'll put it here. And we can drag that into the position as well. And then I'll use this camera instead. But you can do whatever. Uh, I'll just leave it on the main camera so that I don't confuse myself. <laughs> uh, so first off, we have two options here. Transparent background and open image when saved. Uh, open image when saved is pretty obvious. You hit save screenshot down here and it'll open up the image as soon as it's taken. But transparent background uh, toggles the option between like showing the skybox as rendered or as just an actual transparent image. So if I select our camera here and we go to skybox and change this to don't clear, you see the background becomes black. Uh, that's just because this little window doesn't show transparency. But if I hit save screenshot, it'll show transparency. And I'll show that later when I'm actually saving images. But I'll swap this back right now to skybox. Then we have our two options here for resolution, width and height. And you can set this to literally anything that isn't, well, zero or negative. Uh, in fact, I have it so that uh, if it wraps down below one, it goes back to 1920 or 1080, whichever one. Uh, we've got two buttons here, default size, that swaps it to 1920 by 1080, and screen size. This will copy the present resolution of your screen right here. So if you just set it to free aspect, it'll just grab whatever it is. Uh, I have a few presets here. So 1920 by 1080, uh, it will set it to that. We got 4K baby, it'll set it to 4K. Or I guess I have an 8K set up for some reason. <laughs> but I'll swap this back to standalone just so I can dock this a bit better. And I'll go back to default size. Now, you can also just type in whatever you want. And since I never remember what 4K is, I'll just do 1920 times 2 by 1080 times 2. And there we go. Then we have save path. This is where the screenshots will be saved to. And right away, if you hit save screenshot, if you haven't put anything here or if you haven't browsed for a folder, uh, it will open up the file explorer so that you can choose a location. Uh, I'm going to do that right now, and I'm just going to choose the folder that the screenshot is in. And I will make a new folder in here and call it screenshots. And select that folder, and there we go. Then we can choose what format it is named in. So I have four presets right here. Uh, scene name, so it takes whatever scene we're presently in. This one is pickups, so it will be pickups hour, minute, second. Um, then it will do uh, scene name, month, date, year, hour, minute, second. Or we just have month, date, year, hour, minute, second, and custom name, hour, minute, second. Custom name will bring up this little box right here, and you can type in whatever you want. By default, it's screenshot, but this will be... Uh, photo taken or I don't know whatever you like or you can swap it back to a scene name that will hide but it will save that name um, open last screenshot does about what you would expect 
But if you haven't taken one yet and you hit it, it'll say no previous screenshot because, well, there's there's no screenshot for it to open. Uh, but right now we'll hit save screenshot and it'll save the present view. And I did it as 4K, correct? Yeah, so this is a 4K image of the present camera view. And that is an image that we can use for whatever we like. Um, let's get a, a different view here. And I'll set this one to be transparent to show that off. Uh, we'll set the camera to don't clear and transparent background. And let's actually make this a really small picture. So we'll just divide this by eight just so I can keep the resolution consistent and save screenshot. Oh, Windows has been a bit buggy for me, so the photo viewer hasn't exactly been working as intended. Not not my fault, mind you. This is Windows. <laughs> Open last screenshot. Let's see if a uh, photo viewer wants to work now. There we go. We got our little transparent picture of this in, in a really small resolution. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can use, uh, just like a screenshotting tool like this for, um, like if you want to make like profile views of like characters or, uh, just like photographic views of just in-game things, but you don't want to like launch the game and use internal tools and stuff like that. You can just take it right here in the editor with, uh, I mean, I guess I wouldn't recommend going over 8k, but here I haven't tried it. Uh, let's see what this does. This might crash. <laughs> let's find out. Ooh, there we go. We've done it. We've taken a giant picture. Um, my computer almost died. I froze for about a minute, but it did in fact save this picture at a massive resolution that Windows Photo Viewer doesn't like me zooming in on. Ooh, this is very rough. Ooh, okay, I, th I think it's figured out the picture now. But, oh man. Yeah, it didn't like doing that. <laughs> but it is possible, I guess. And that'll be it. Uh, this will be available on my booth page for $5. And it'll also be available uh, to anyone on my Patreon that would like to use it. Um, I'll put links for all that in the description, and I hope you enjoy.